Hey everyone, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Canva to create a design that looks like this. All right, so I am here in Canva. You can use the free or premium version, and I'm gonna show you how to create the design. So the first thing you need is a subject. For this one, I used Cristiano Ronaldo, and what I was able to do is to just search for a close-up of someone's face. You're gonna to wanna to find a close-up as opposed to a shot where you're seeing their body because you're gonna have a lot more real estate to add those, those uh, letters or whatever phrase you wanna add on their face. So I'm going to choose Copy Image. I'm gonna go back to Canva and this time I'm going to paste that image directly on my design kind of like that and I'm going to enlarge it now it works best if you have an image that just kind of fits directly along the top and the bottom you'll see why in a second so now I'm going to go over to my elements and the first thing I want to do is to search for some of those letters that we can put on one side of his face so what I'm going to do is to search for goat greatest of all time so I need those g-o-a-t letters so I'm just going to do a search for g letter frame Okay, so you can see there's a number of different G frames that you can see. If I do see all, you can see a number of different letter types that you can use, but I'm going to use this one, all right? And I'm going to choose G. From here, I'm just going to choose this option that says Canva Creative Studio. And now I'm going to search just this library. And I'm going to search for letters, and there we go. So now we see a whole bunch of different frames. So I'm going to use G, I have O, and then A, and then T. Okay, I've got those four letters. So now what I'm going to do is maybe just kind of take these letters like this, just sort of group them on top of each other. It doesn't matter which order, but what I wanna do is, whoops. What I wanna do is just get the size together. Okay, so I've got my letters here. Now I'm going to add them on our subject's face. Okay, here's G. And then O. Now what I want to do is kind of just make sure that these are the same size or else it'll look not so good. Okay, there's my O. Here's our A. Okay. You'll see that there's eight, uh, 18 between. We just want to make sure that it has the same space between all of them. Kind of like that. All right, so I have my letters, but unfortunately they're too big. So what I'm going to do is just select all four letters, kind of like that. And I'm just going to make them a little bit smaller at the same time until they fit uh, right about here. Okay, there we go. Now this looks a little bit, is that right? Yep, I guess that is right. Okay, so we've got our T here. Let me just make sure that the spacing is correct. It looks like we're at 22 now. There we go, so you can see 22 for each. Now, from here, all I'm going to do is take my subject and I'm going to copy with con Control C or Command C, copy and paste, and just drag it directly inside that frame. I'm gonna do this for all four of the letters, just like that. But now I'm not done because I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to take my photo and just sort of make it the same exact dimensions as our background and you can do this by making sure that the edges are right along the same sides kind of like that okay i think that should look good next same thing we'll make this a little bit bigger just sort of position this in the corners this kind of helps you stay on track you want to make sure that you stay as close to this as possible um or else it may look kind of funny. So I may even try that again. Not really hard, just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of uh, precision. There we go, I think that looks better. Next, we'll try this. This is why you really wanna pick an image that you can line up, just like how I line this up at the top and the bottom. So we're not like overlapping a whole lot. And now from here, I can just sort of make sure that everything is aligned and even if it's not aligned perfectly sometimes it doesn't matter sometimes you can do it after you kind of double click and position your frame so here's my last one i'm just going to take this and just kind of do that i think that should be good okay now you can see 
this doesn't quite look right. Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right, now, if you're looking at your image and you can't really tell a difference, then I think you're good. So now we're ready to do the last step, and that is this. We are going to just search. We're going to go back, and we're just going to search for a shape. And I don't want a frame. I just want a regular shape, and I'm going to make this the same color background, which is just right over here, like that. There we go. I'm just going to take these and cut them. Command C or Control C. I now have my shape. We're going to kind of divide this shape in half, just like that. Now let me paste. OK, there we go. We've got our letters right over here. We've got our uh, subject to the right. And now let's say maybe I want to move this over so it's not in the middle. I can just select everything like that. I'm going to group it. So now this is all one image. And this will work really good because from here I can kind of put this over to the side. I can change this background to that color, kind of like that. Maybe I want to put another image to the right, that sort of thing. Now the other thing I can do if I want is like resize this maybe to like a poster. So I'm going to say like eight and a half by 11. Let's open this. There we go. But again, since this is grouped together, all I have to do is make this a little bit bigger. Kind of like that. And look at that. I've got kind of a cool poster that I can use and I can put anywhere that I want. So this is just one simple trick using letter frames that are available in Canva. Again, free or premium, you should be able to do this with either plan. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like these videos, it would be great if you could subscribe.